Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new Discord.js v12 tutorial. Today we're going to be making a blacklist command. And so let's hop right into it. So we're going to be making the command first. So let's just type blacklist.js. Uh, define Discord. So const Discord equals require discord.js. And then put since we're going to be using a database, so const db equals require quick dot db. And now let's start with module dot exports squiggly brackets name blacklist. And then put run async client client message and then args message and args more more squiggly brackets um so I've got to pass this through and then put um, so we're going to be using our um our Discord ID. So put let um owners let owner or owners equals squiggly squiggly brackets. Actually, no, let's not put squiggly squiggly brackets. Let's put that, and then put uh, talking marks. And now we're going to be grabbing our Discord ID. And I'll be showing you how to grab that. So here you go. You're gonna have. You're gonna need developer. Um. Um. What's it called? Developer features enabled to get this. But there's a different. I'll. I think I've shown that, but I'm not gonna show it now in today's tutorial. But I'm just gonna show you how to get your ID. Right click on your name. Copy ID. Just paste that there. Then put if dash owner dot includes and put message dot author dot id and then put again put some squiggly brackets return message dot reply this command is restricted for the dev slash owner. No, we don't need to put anything else there. So then let's just put const user equals message dot mentions mentions dot users dot first dot first. And then put if dash user return message dot reply. You don't have to use reply. I'm just gonna just, I just like using it since it also since it auto pings you. Uh, mention someone. Mention someone. And now put let blacklist equals await db dot fetch dot fetch now we're going to put blacklist underscore message dot user actually I'm just going to put user dot id and then put over here if blacklist equals 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 not ha has to be a capital put await db dot set uh blacklist underscore user dot id and then put comma and then put 
black listed. You'll understand why I put, put, put this here a little later. And then just put const embed equals new discord dot message embed dot set description dot set title user black listed dot set description user has been black listed by devs message dot channel dot send embed and now put I believe you put else then put else if if blacklisted if blacklist equals 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 blacklisted oh wait wait oh my god oh wait bb dot set it would be db dot set um Oh, no, this is right. Black list underscore user dot ID. Black listed. Wait, no, sorry, just put put not. Yeah. Then put const embed equals new discord message embed dot set title user on blacklisted dot set description User has been unblacklisted. Message. Message. Dot channel. Dot send. Embed. And then put else. Uh, await db. Dot set. Yes, is right. Blacklist underscore user the ID over here. You put a comma and then put not and then put const embed equals new discord dot message embed. Um. So it's actually to set up the data for someone. So put setting up, up set up data dot set description adding user to DB please try again message dot channel dot send embed now for the event since we have defined everything here, let's come down to our message event. Now we're going to put let blacklist equals Wait, DB dot fetch blacklist underscore message dot channel 
wait no message dot author dot id yeah that's right and then put if blacklist equals 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 black blacklisted return message dot reply you are blacklisted from the bot you are blacklisted so no dot yep everything's lo loaded in and then let's just try yt dash blacklist yt dash blacklist at 99 days setting up data has been blacklisted by depths there we go ah now we wait Yep, as you guys can tell, it says you were blacklist. You were blacklisted from the bot. Now let's try it again. Blacklist at has been unblacklisted. Yep, as you guys can tell, it d does work officially, and there is proof that it does set up some the user in the database. Um, so it does work. I hope you guys enjoyed.